Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's get ready to find the ball that Rifa was researching. Since last time, I've made quite a few upgrades to Fort Loon at the moon base here. So yeah, we got all the special moves out of the lab there. Got quite a few more power-ups going on there. A lot more ingredients to buy. We're not going to need that for quite some time, but I want to have it ready by the time I get there. Got some, uh, what is it? Yeah, some more parts for the special moves and everything around here. Really, the big important thing is the special moves. And I want to have a light unlocked from the parts lab alpha that'll be useful against the next boss and there's one for insect slayer that one's also pretty good that's really the big thing you don't need to have done nearly enough of this we also unlocked the next uh special move lab there so now let's start assigning workers to each of the shops now let's see okay so i would like to start getting some more battle items ready though i'm not going to need those for quite some time but let's put a few there to get that one moving let's see i also want to get some more ingredients unlocked from the bio plant really i only need like the first few levels of that in the well, by the end of the chapter there. Same thing with the Parts Lab Gamma there. I want to get Dragon Slayer unlocked by the end of the chapter there. So we'll get, yeah, a whole bunch thrown in over there. And then, yeah, let's get another power-up going there. And what else do we got? Okay, the other special move lab. I am not extraordinarily in a rush to get this done, but I do want to start working on getting the level three and four special moves. Yeah, unlike the first game, there's four levels of special moves per weapon type, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, normally I would only have like 26 villagers or so by this point in the game, so I figured, eh, let's just assign those and deal with the rest uh, when I get to it. But uh, okay, so we've got all that taken care of there. Let's see, what else do we got? So I'm just going to let that run for a while on the moon base. I'm not worried about things finishing up anytime soon. Let's see, I would also like to buy some more weapons to for where we're going next. Broadswords. We're going to be running into demon-type enemies coming up. So I want to have as many of those as I need between Adia and Tiz there. You could also buy some more uh, Nodachis there because I'm going to be in the ocean a bit, or at least in the shallows anyway, but they're easy enough to kill without buying more of them. And the next town we're going to go to, we'll have even better ones. So yeah, don't worry about that in my opinion. Okay, so we get all those and let's see. Okay, so yeah, we got that taken care of. Let's go take a look at some more Chubcraft. There's quite a few songs that I would like to try and unlock today. Just a little bit, though. I'm not going to put in too much time on this. Okay, so we get that going. Chubcraft. Now, at this point, I really don't care that much about the glue or the brush upgrades there. Really, mostly what I care about is how many I make at once with the scissors and the stuffing that increases their value. So let's wait about here. That ought to be good. And that should get me, I think, 80 CP. Or, well, 160, 80 per. And if you have exactly 160 CP, you unlock this song. So, yeah, some of them are really fickle like that as far as getting the exact number of chomp points in order to unlock some of those songs. It can be really tricky there. Okay, so we've almost got that. Let's get that upgrade. Oh, I didn't get the scissors upgrade, but actually what I want to do now is get up to 400 CP. So let's see. Yeah, stuffing is going to run out soon. So what I need is two, or well, four more chompers at 80 CP a piece. Okay, so far so good. 
But yeah, you won't always get green chompers out of this, especially if you boost up the rare rate. You'll have like red chompers or gold chompers or what have you. Okay, this should get me up to 400 unless I get a rare one, which I didn't. Good, good. Okay, so let's sell that. And then we should get two songs. Uh, let's see, the... Yeah, number seven, that one is... What is it? That's 250 to 450 chomps you need for that. 400 for the one that I just got there. But otherwise, I think we're good. Okay, so now I would like to buy another upgrade. Let's get an upgrade to the glue. Eventually, I will want to use that. Just not right now. Okay, so let's get all this stuff going. And the snack there but but or boosts a lot of your uh what is that well your tools that you're using to make more of them and let's see the yeah the snack will barely last me long enough to get in the buff to all of those there okay so we've got all that uh oh well that's uh a lot more than i actually needed there but we can go with this. We'll unlock another song this way. Another world map song. Very nice. And then finally, let's get the upgrade to the brush there. And that'll be pretty much all I need as far as upgrades go for quite some time. So we'll just get out of there. All right. Very nice. Okay. So with all of that, now let's get the party set up to go look for that bow. Okay, so last time we unlocked the Thief job class. And I want to move everyone over to that. If you haven't gotten good measure yet, sometimes it takes me a little longer to get that. Make sure you get that before you switch to the Thief job class. So that way you'll be much more powerful with your magic there. So even though Thief really is more of a physical attacking job class it's got some really good stuff for everyone F physical or magical damage dealers so get everyone set over to that okay and then for the abilities yeah let's just keep you on spirit magic i would like to keep warfare but we're going to be running into a lot of new enemies coming up here so yeah why don't we just go to miscellany there same thing for tiz and then, okay, what else do we got? Sports skills. Let's see, with the mages now, let's go with spellcraft, triple wield, and good measure there. And that'll really make the magic a lot more powerful. Even as thieves, they'll be able to deal very good damage. And then, let's see, for Dia, let's see, let's keep you on the divining rod. But uh, otherwise... Yeah, I think we're good here. Let's see, what do we got? Hold on. Okay, we got the Vining Rod, the defense, and then... Okay, yeah, let's get those going. Okay, we just need those four then. Okay, then for you, same thing as, well, you. Get that ready. And then I think we're almost good to go here. Let's see. Okay, so we got those two. Might as well have Dungeon Master, even though I don't think there's any anything that would damage us, like on the terrain or anything like that. Maybe it should, but it doesn't. Okay, and then since we are thieves, we have rank S proficiency with knives. So the magic knives are only going to be even more powerful here. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, it makes leveling up thief for my mages a lot easier. You could also do the same with the Fencer job class. They also have rank S proficiency with knives. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, I just want to work on Thief for now, though. Okay, so with Dia there, let's see, why don't we go with the Issei no Kami? Might as well give that back to you. And a couple of the broadswords. I want to have the Issei no Kami, or, well, any katana, in the right hand slot there so that way uh what is it if i want to i could equip a shield in this slot and then boost the damage of the isi no kami that way and then since you're a thief we're not that good with heavy armor anymore so let's 
yeah, equip something a bit lighter to get a bit more defense out of that. So let me show you what I mean about using the shield there. If you're dual wielding, you see how the attack power is there a bit reduced. But if I equip the shield, it boosts the attack power of the other hand since you're not having that offhand weapon penalty applied to it and that can be useful in some situations where i'm fighting aquatic type enemies and i want to get more damage out of my weapon that can actually exploit that there but the broadswords are really strong too okay then for magnolia yeah let's get you on triple magic knives there and then everything else is good there. And then for Tiz, pretty much the same thing as Adia there. Get a katana going. And a couple broadswords. I will eventually be equipping three broadswords on Adia and Tiz. But for now, this will do. Okay. We've got all that set up and ready to go. Let's see. Well, there's going to be some ov overworld treasure to find as well on the way. So, let's see what we got going on outside here. Okay, so you see on the map there, we need to go way far to the north there in order to find the bow that Rifa was talking about. I don't know how she saw it when we're in the southern hemisphere of the world, but she did. So, we're going to head on up there. And, yeah, why don't we rest up back home while we're at it? Well, I mean, I'm not going to go to Yu's house. We can't rest up there for some reason. But we can teleport over here to save a little time on the trip there. And, yeah, like I said, there's going to be a lot of new enemies for us to fight and examine there. We'll have plenty of time to do it all. Also, when you're at Gathladio... You can just go over here in order to, uh, what is that? Yeah, get on to your boat instead of just waiting by the beach over there. So, let's head on to the north to find that ball. Now, let's see. With, yeah, at this point in the game, we can only travel in the shallow water. And I would like it to actually be nighttime by the time I encounter some enemies so how about we uh wait around here a little bit it's been long enough probably gonna be nighttime soon okay there we go we're yeah getting pretty close how about i save here before i get into a battle and see what we can do now that was a little quicker than i thought it was gonna be but it works Okay, so we've got some new enemies. Giant enemy crab. Those guys are weak to thunder. And let's see, we got the red Tosker there that is only encounterable at night in the sh shallows there. And they're weak to wind, just like the harpies. I want to fight enemies at nighttime right now because I've already killed enough harpies to fill out their bestiary entry. So, and they're more common during the day than the night. So... I just want to do it like this to get that taken care of. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so with you, let's go... Well, since I've made some upgrades to the item shops there, we got the magnifying glass, which will, uh, yeah, let you examine an enemy without the missile landing command. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I want you to use that. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I want him to use that because I'm going to have him use Tornado, which will kill the Ratatoskar for sure. Maybe the Harpy too while we're at it. We'll see. Okay, so let's go with Double Tornado with the a good measure there. I'm just thinking if I want to get a Lightning Spell in there too... Thunder, or Tornado will still deal pretty good damage to the enemy crab there. It's just that they have a lot of physical defense that can be tough to work around. But I think I'll go with uh, Thunder Spell. If it kills the enemy crab, oh well. But, uh, okay, so now what I want to do is see we got our attack power of 67 there. 
That's both of the weapons combined there. Okay, so this is just looking at the left-hand slot there. So by equipping a shield, I lose the attack power of the weapon, of course. But now, we've got uh, pretty good attack power with the katana there. Let me see if I can uh, show that here. Um, let's see. Okay, they won't let me show it here. But, yeah, we've got more attack power from the katana because we don't have that offhand penalty on her now. So she should be able to deal pretty good damage to even the enemy crab, although that guy can be a little tough. Okay, so let's go with two attacks on the crab and one on the harpy there. And then the other two, you just stand, sit tight while we get a look at these guys. Well, they don't have as much HP as I thought they would have had. Yeah, look at that damage. Very nice. Okay, and then you should be able to take out the other two. Let's see, I think the harpies could blind you. So you want to watch out for that. But we kill them quickly enough, and then you don't need to worry about it. Let's go for another battle. Let's see, with the red Tusker, they can cast Cure. To heal up a bit there. Enemy Crab also has an ability that can greatly increase their physical defense. Even more than it already is. But now we've got another new enemy. Vultures! They are weak to wind. Pretty similar to the Harpies. Okay, so to deal with these guys, let's see. Since Vulture's weak to wind, I probably want Magnolia to examine them. But then there's also Tiz I gotta think about a little bit, too. Hmm. Okay, how about we do this? Let's go with... Hmm, I'm just thinking if I really want to burn my magnifying glass that quickly. I don't think so. No, no. Let's just go with uh, Double Tornado. Leave it like that. And then with Tiz, now, since... Uh, yeah, we've got the Death Fish there. Well, we've got the Katana equipped already, so we should be fine there. Okay, so we examine the Vulture. Hopefully, Magnolia will not kill them so quickly. Death Fish is weak to Lightning. And, okay, that ought to be good there. Or maybe not. Okay. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, well, we can find another vulture another day. Okay, so, yeah, with these guys. Oh, yeah, we got a brave attack. So now Magnolia gets another turn. Very nice. So how about we do this? Let's go double tornado and then double lightning. And by the way, don't worry about your MP here. We're going to have a healing point before, well, we have a healing point coming up. Let's put it that way. And let's see, for Tiz, I could have him attack, but I really don't need to. Let's keep his BP above zero, though. How about... Yeah, we'll just get a little chip damage in there if we need it. Or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, now that we're thieves, we're really, really fast. Way faster than all the enemies here. Mm, I really wish I had a turn for you right now, but I do not. Okay, so... Let's see, with Tiz... Well, the Red Atoskar is a beast-type enemy. Let me see if I can show that to you. Yeah, there you go. So you can see all the symbols for the elements they're weak to and their creature types as well. So since they are beasts, they are weak to knives. So... Let's go equip the Thief's Knife. And what's the other one? Where'd my knives go? Ah, there you go. The Mage Masher. Get both of those equipped there to exploit the creature type. And then use the Thief's Knife as an item. You see the description on the bottom of the top screen there. And then use that to mug an enemy. So I will damage them and steal an item from them at the same time. Unlike the first game, though, I don't do nearly as much stealing against random enemies. It's not really that worthwhile. I'd rather just kill the enemies more quickly. 
and thus get more money with more consecutive battles out of them. But yeah, not bad with the damage there. But yeah, stealing items usually has a success rate of 50%. Okay, so yeah, you're not always going to get an item out of them, but that's okay. Alright, so with you there, how about we do this? Let's go lightning dart on them, and then just go with, well, let's go one lightning spell here, and then something someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey, if you just use one spell for your third action, and then a different spell for your fourth action, I don't have to worry about them combining with good measure there and overkilling the enemy more than I already am. So, thanks for that. I didn't think about that for some reason. But yeah, look at that JP we get out of that. <laughs> Lots of levels there. So yeah, basically the ability that I want to get out of Thief is speed 20% up. And I believe we get that at level 5, just like the first game. So yeah, there we go. So that's really the big thing that I want to get out of it now. That'll really help out in Chapter 1 especially. Just to keep ahead of the enemy so I can kill them before they can do anything to me. Okay, and then, yeah, we need to heal up. Fortunately, Holy Magic doesn't care about your mind or intelligence stat. So, yeah, you always get the same amount of healing them out of them regardless of your job class it's really nice i use that throughout the game really okay so in the ocean there's still one more new enemy to encounter so let's keep the miscellany equipped on everyone and yeah why don't we get back on our regular weapons there i love switching weapons around in rpgs just the right tool for the right oh Right tool for the right job. If I can find the tool, that would be even better. Okay, so we've got all that. I think we're good. But yeah, how about we... Uh, I want to reset the time to the beginning of nighttime because I still want to find more enemies at night. Okay, so yeah, we just keep on following the shallows up to here. And, yeah, why don't we save here? Now, this is actually technically part of Florum. Might remember that from the first game. But the enemies here are still relatively easy for us to kill. So we don't need to worry about that. But we can worry about getting a Twister. Nice. And there's some enemies that are only in this part of Florum here. So let's take a look around. And we've got a couple new enemies. Let's see. Panther and... I believe it's pronounced... Ketchi. However that works there. But, yeah. I need to take those two out. So, let's get Tiz in on the action. So, let's see. Panthers are weak to fire. And Ketchi is weak to water. And they're both considered beast-type enemies. So, how about we go with a good... Uh, dual knives on each of them. Okay, yeah. Let's get, examine both of those. And then, yeah, just use a regular physical attack on each of them. How's our speed look on everyone, too? Check that out. Yeah, we almost all have the same speed, unfortunately. Okay, so with you, how about we get maybe just one heat spell or two. Yeah, we'll go for two, I think. I'm not sure if uh, Tiz would be able to kill these guys. By himself, that is. Um, no, let's just go for the one heat. I think that'll be enough. Just soften them up just a little bit. Okay, good. We got the examines in, at least. Yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> Okay, I guess I didn't need to use help after all. Uh-oh, and another new enemy, orcs. Let's see what we got here. So panthers, they have an ability called footwork that greatly increases their 
uh, physical evasion there, so you want to watch out for that. And let's see, orcs can actually default. I think it's the first enemy we've encountered that can default. Yeah, well, there's Jan, but other than that, first random enemy. And let's see, they can... Yeah, that's all they really do, is just default. <laughs> so, let's see what I got. Okay, so with orcs, they are also weak to fire. So, how about we do this? Let's have you... Oh, right, I want to have... Uh... Well, I'm going to need some fire elemental damage. I'm just thinking about how I want to distribute it and be able to examine the orc at the same time. Okay, how about we just go with two heat spells and then Adia can deal with the orc. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Okay, so you do that and then heat should be able to take care of anything else, I think. That ought to be good. All right, good. We got the examine in this time. So yeah, with triple wield, when you're just using your regular physical attack command there, well, as you can see, you're attacking them with each hand individually as we find another new enemy. Let's see, orc leaders. They can use encourage to buff up all of the enemy's physical attacks and they can poison you with a venomous stab. So yeah, those guys you gotta watch out for. But yeah, if I had, say, Trample, you might have noticed that even though you only see the one attack, the game actually calculates each hand of damage individually there. So that's why, you know, equipping multiple weapons, even of the same type, still really helps your war defense out. Or not your defense, your uh, physical attack, that is. Okay, so let's, yeah, examine the orc. Glad I didn't use that magnifying lens earlier. Okay, so let's go with double heat. I think that'll even be enough to kill the... I almost said Reddit Toskers, but no. Uh, the Ketchi there. That should be able to kill them, too. But I'll get another Frost in there while I'm at it. Now, you can actually encounter Reddit Tusker around here, too. But only during the daytime. And since I can encounter them in the shallows there, I don't feel the need to fight them here. So I'm just going to clear the bestiary entries that... Uh, what is that? Yeah, I'm just going to clear the ones that cannot be found anywhere else, which are the ones that, well, I've shown you here. Pretty lucky getting all of them to work at the same time there. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we just go... Well, how about we do this? Hold on, let's go two heat. Oh. Brave up. Okay, two heat. Then we'll alternate with frost and another heat spell in the event the orc defaults because I might need more help to take them out. But otherwise, I think we're good to go here. Um, let's see, do I push my luck? Hmm, I'm trying to think if these guys can do anything that I would care about. Not really, no. I'll play it risky. If I need to, I have Bravely Second that I could use. So yeah, you see that footwork there. Now they got a lot more physical evasion there, but fortunately, they're both weak to fire, so let's go light them up, and there you go, so now we get an even higher bonus, and a lot more JP, money, experience, everything, and now we've learned Mug, which is basically the same thing as a Thief's Knife, but you can use it with any weapon, unfortunately, unlike the first game, you can't do the Thief's Knife trick that I used, to use stab and grab and then switch to a stronger weapon to basically not have to pay for mug. No, no, you can't do that in this game. You'll try to use it, but then it'll be like, uh, you don't have the right weapon equipped or words to that effect. I mean, it would fizzle, essentially. But, uh, all right, so. Didn't really take too much of a beating there. I'm actually kind of surprised it wasn't much worse. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Let's heal up. And I want to keep it nighttime while I'm going to be fighting these enemies off screen. 
So now let's actually switch to warfare so I can use trample again since there's no more new enemies to examine. And well, let me show you something here also. Uh, not those guys, the bosses there. The Jackal, we got his bestiary entry unlocked there. Some people were saying Ichi Bailey in the Japanese version of the game, when you have these decision points like that, it has like a different effect on, uh, what is it, like the ending with these scenarios or something or other. I don't know exactly how it works, but apparently in the Japanese version, there is more of a difference between the, the choices that you make, which is kind of silly to do that so when they made the english version i guess they figured that you know they don't want to like have the endings affected by that so yeah they just uh made it so it pretty much doesn't matter although i have not personally experienced the japanese version so yeah i wouldn't uh really know about that and we'll eventually get uh, more of these, too. Oh, yeah, so we've already gotten all those. Um, but, yeah, so that's all the bosses there. You might also notice, though, whenever you fight a boss that has some human minions with them, they'll end up over here for some reason. Even though they're not a random enemy, that's the only place you fight them, but they put them over here instead of the boss entry for some reason. I mean, I guess they're not, like... They, they, they're not bosses, but they're not the big boss, I guess. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Let's uh, reset the time to the beginning of the day. And since I'm going to be just filling up the bestiary, and I'm already ahead of schedule here with all this, let's uh, disable all of the gains that I get from the battle, and might as well go filthy casual mode. To make them a bit easier since, yeah, I just want to fill out the best gear there. So I'm going to take some time to take care of that and I'll be right back. All right, took care of all the best gear entries there. So how about we, yeah, change everything back to, oh, not that one. That one. Yeah, let's get everything back to normal here. Or, well, hard, that is. Okay, so we've got all that. Then, yeah. Get the encounter rate back to normal there. There will be some times where I'll want to reduce it to 100%. And, yeah, I'll just deal with it. But, usually I like to keep it relatively normal there. The encounter rate is not that obscene, usually. Okay, so we've got those. Oh, yeah, I also wanted to show you something with uh, Ask Agnes down here. So, let's see. So, yeah, we're going all the way to the north there. Well, that's, like, way far to the north of our campus. I would argue that it's actually south of our campus, more like. But anyway, okay, so... Let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see what's going on around here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just call it that? Something's going on with that. I thought she was going to say something about, like, the plot. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. What side stories? Oh, yeah, we kind of already did that. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, didn't I choose the other option? Hmm. Okay. I think some people were saying that, like, with these decision points, they basically... Like, some choices are, like, the good ending of the side quest and the bad ending. And, like, from what they... Some people were saying, like, compared to the Japanese version, they just got rid of like the bad ending dialogue and only gave you the good ending one or something or other like that whenever they localized it. I don't know precisely how it works. I just know the numbers. That's all that matters. 
But, okay. Oh, yeah. Did she have anything else to say about that? Okay. No, I guess that's all she has to say about it. Okay. But, let me see. I'm trying to find something about, like, the actual plot. Hmm. Okay, I guess she doesn't have anything to say about that right now. That's strange. But I do want to uh, save up here. I've already made it the beginning of nighttime, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's just continue onward, then. So let's see, there's an island over here that has nothing to do with the plot, and I want to visit it. Uh-oh. I kind of want it to be, well, I guess it can be daytime, that's okay. I kind of wanted it to be nighttime, though. But, uh, oh yeah, as long as we are here, now we can run into some enemies that are demon-type enemies. So, I want to have my triple broadsword set up, ready to go. Or at least have the broadsword equipped to the head slot. So that way we can exploit, or switch, to the broadswords to exploit that creature type. But, uh, okay, so we've got all that. We got the little treasure over here. Let's see if we can find some of those new enemies around here then. And these guys are going to be a lot tougher. Well, maybe not a lot tougher, but tougher than the ones we were fighting before. Whoops, there's uh, one thing I forgot to do there. I need to, yeah, equip Miss Lanny so I can continue examining new enemies. Whoops. Well, if that's the worst mistake I make today, I consider myself lucky. But otherwise, I think we're good to go. To find some new enemies. Imps. There we go. Those are the demons that I was telling you about. Let's see. These guys are weak to earth and light. But I can't really... Well, I can't exploit light, but I can exploit earth. So, let's see. With these guys... Uh, let's see, the imps can silence you, they have the silence spell, and they can inflict the dread status on you, so you want to watch out for that. Let's see, with you, how about we just go with quadruple soil on them, and then with Tiz, let's examine one of them, and then attack each of them one at a time, and that should be good. Yeah, these guys got a lot more HP than the enemies we were just fighting there. Gosh, I hope my spells are going to be enough against them. Okay, good. Sorry, didn't mean to doubt you. you, you you've you proven your worth. We're good. Alright, and there we've got another new enemy. Anzu. They are considered aerial type enemies, which we cannot exploit. But they are weak to win. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so pretty much the same thing as before. Let's go with examine on the new enemy there. I could use mug if I want, but you see the damage scaling there? Yeah, it's the same as a normal physical attack on damage there. And I don't, well, I guess I could steal from them. I'm going to heal up, but I was going to say I don't want to burn all my MP like that. But yeah, that doesn't especially matter, does it? Okay, so with Magnolia, okay, why don't we have Dia go after Anzu, and then, no, no, I need a little bit of damage on the imp there. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do two on that guy. Oh, yeah, Anzu is uh, immune to Earth. Hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, how about we do this then? We'll go mug the imp twice. And, yeah, why don't we just split it up like that. And then we'll use tornado instead. And hopefully we'll have enough damage to kill the imp while we're at it. But, uh, alright, there we go. Got those guys. Anzu can also use an attack called Sonic Boom. And that one can kill you with wind elemental damage. So you want to watch out for that. Hmm. Do I take the risk here with these guys? Because let's see, I probably couldn't kill them alone with Magnolia. I'm not going to push my luck here. 
Yeah, see, we don't get nearly as much JP now because I didn't push it farther than that. But with the examining in there, I consider that a profitable battle. Now, these enemies are not only encountered here, so I'm going to get out of here and, uh, you know, examine other new enemies and stuff later whenever I find them. Okay, uh, oh, wow, you actually uh, have used a lot of your MP already. Yeah, kind of strange having a thief needing to use magic or MP for anything, but I guess that maybe it's like a magical theft or something. I don't know. But in any case, all healed up. Make sure we've got miscellany back in order. And I think we're good. I would like it to become nighttime. Um, let's see. Not yet, though. I can uh, deal with the rest later. But yeah, why don't we get out of here? Hmm, do I want to stay in the o or get go into the ocean during the day how about we uh yeah just sit here for a little while now well, we can move on a little bit okay now it's night time so we don't need to worry about that okay we can just keep going over here then hey look there's another one of those monoliths up there hmm well, remember that for later, viewers. And here we've got another new enemy, Dark Lanterns. They are weak to light, which I can't exploit at the moment. And they've got a really high physical defense. Whatever shall we do? Well, let's uh, put our soil spells to use against them. Despite the fact that they're floating in the air, they're not immune to it or even strong against it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how that works, but it does. Okay, so yeah, uh, new enemy there. Let's get our examination in action. Okay, so... How about... Let's go mug the Dark Lanterns. Okay, so we get that going. I'm not entirely confident that'll be enough to kill them. But if this is just a one-off battle, probably okay. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep it like that. Okay, well, we... Uh, mm, I don't think we're going to be able to kill all of them. Nope. Yeah, I need a little more uh, power here. More power! Okay, let's uh, try that one again. Yeah, I, I was thinking about using another soil spell, but chances are I probably wouldn't have been able to do much with another battle anyway if I did it this way. But that's okay. Okay, so we've got all that. So yeah, those are all the new enemies around here. They're also going to be in this crater over here, which is where the ball is. But for now... Okay, we got the encounter rate normal. If we go all the way up here... We get another treasure. And I would like to try and keep it nighttime if I can. But otherwise, okay, with these guys. Yeah, let's uh, show how it's done there, guys. Oh, yeah, I don't need miscellany anymore. I can go with warfare. But yeah, these guys. Yeah, they got. They're actually one of the few enemies in the game that have more physical defense than magic defense, oddly enough. But magic is still way overpowered in this game. Uh-oh. Now, another way you could deal with these guys if you don't have any magic left, you could also use your battle items that you might have picked up from the shops there. We've gotten quite a few of them for free. So, how about we do that? How about we put like an earth drum to use against them and then yeah want to take out the middle one easily enough okay so yeah let's just go all out with that let's go earth drum and then let's do two attacks there oh no uh one attack there that ought to be good and this can do some mugging 
while we're at it. So you get a couple more there. That ought to be good. Yeah, whenever you find new enemies like this, you're going to uh, yeah have a hard time winning a lot of battles. Very quickly, that is. But, uh, okay, we can go with one more soil spell. Now, these guys are organic-type enemies. And I could exploit that with the Iron Knuckles over here. That might not be a bad idea to equip those now. But I was too focused on, like, the elemental weakness and examining and everything that I was trying to do there. But I think I'll just, uh, yeah, leave that alone. We're almost in the dungeon. So let's head on into the Bow Crater. Whoa. This place is taking a beating. So what happened to the dungeon that used to be here? I mean, they had all this ultimate equipment and everything in there. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. So, Rita? this is where the ball is sleeping? Oh, it's still here? Yes. If my theory is correct, we believe this grooved structure was created by the ball's impact with the ground. Well, any number of things could have done that. A meteorite... Wouldn't be the first LP of mine where that happened. How curious. For the longest time, it was covered in a thick miasma that prevented anyone from getting close. Oh, really? But reports from the past month claim that the miasma had begun to dissipate. Reports which I have now confirmed. Well, good, I guess? Why do you suppose the miasma dissipated? Hmm. Some posit that it is because the ball that sleeps within has grown weak. But I am unconvinced. After all, we have no evidence that it was the ball that emitted the miasma in the first place. Well, maybe it was just passing gas. I don't know. Why, none of us has even had occasion to examine the ball with our own eyes. Then how do you know it exists? Until now, that is. This is a chance of a lifetime. I will do my duty as a student and a scholar. Well, good for you. And I will do mine and destroy the fiend. Is that good hmm. for us? All right, I'm ready for this too. Let's get going. But all right, let's take a look around here. And yeah, just like I was saying there, yeah, we got the adventurer right at the start here for some reason. Let's see if Anya has anything to say about this. What's going on? What about him? Oh, yeah, I already figured that out. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Don't answer that, viewers. But, yeah, we might want to watch out for that. But, uh, okay, that didn't seem particularly relevant. But, uh, okay, so how are we looking here? Just want to double check my setup here. Okay, so yeah, triple broadsword, probably the way to go, but against those... Uh, dark Lanterns, I would probably be better off equipping the Iron Knuckles there. But even then, we probably wouldn't be dealing very much damage to them at all. But, uh, okay, yeah, we're here. How about we rest up? So, yeah, hopefully by now you've gotten good measure and you've gotten everyone as a thief. That'll really help us out going through here. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have any more enemies to examine. I don't... I don't think we do. So, yeah, let's get Warfare going on them. Make sure to keep your HP up so that way you get the most damage out of Warfare as you can. And then we'll start taking a look around. So, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of branching paths here. Perhaps somewhat literally. But, uh, okay, yeah, we've got that. Let's take a look around. Okay, so from here, let's go down. 
Oh, there's a treasure to the right. But I think there's another one over here. Or... No, there isn't. Okay, never mind, then. Let's go over here, then. Oh, I was thinking of the next one over there. You see in the lower right there? Hold on, wait for it to zoom out. Yeah, there's another little treasure over there. But, uh, let's see. I thought I saw another one. Or maybe not. But, uh, okay, we can deal with these guys. How about... Okay, so now that I don't need to examine them, we should be able to take them out pretty quick and easy. And since we did get a brave attack for you and Magnolia, how about we go with one soil spell just to soften them up just a little bit. Do that, and that'll be good. Yeah, look at that damage. Very nice. Oh, well. Yeah, a little late. But, well, at least I only used one character's BP to kill all of them. Okay, now with these guys, I could use a Tornado on them. I'm just thinking if I really want to do that. Hmm. Let's go with two tornadoes. And then with Dia there. Okay, let's go two tramples on that one. And two on the other. And I think that'll be good enough. Okay, that works. That's enough! So yeah, on this screen we run into a lot more Anzus than we do on the others previously. Okay, so I don't think I can kill them with just one of these. Or, well, all of my spells here. Hmm. I'll just go all out anyway. Well, at least we got the one. Yeah, you see, there's the dread status there. If you had more than, I think, zero BP, or maybe it's one, it would reduce your BP to that amount. And you also can't use the Brave or Default commands while you're dealing with that. Yeah, kind of annoying. But, uh, okay, yeah, you see, can't use them at all there. I'm not even going to bother switching my weapons. I wouldn't be, yeah, not really going to deal much damage there. But at least we killed them. Hooray! So, yeah, what I want to do here is start... Uh, collecting the treasure here, and then I'll... I might come back to the adventurer to rest up a bit. We'll see, we'll see. But let's go down here first. And pick up the other treasure that I saw around here. Very nice. And one thing about, like, the order in which I'm attacking the enemies... Is I want to use my physical attackers as early as possible. So that way, if I fight... Dark Lanterns in a subsequent battle, my mages will be ready to go in the reserves there. Okay, so with that one, let's see, I think that's all the treasure we can get for now. You might see a path on the bottom there with the treasure. We can't uh, get to that right now. We'll have to find another way around. All right, and after that battle, we learned a new ability for Thief Steel Mind, which lets you regenerate your, well, steel, MP from enemies, and I think it works pretty much on everything. It kind of seems like it works like the NES version of Final Fantasy 2 for Osmos, or Aspir, there for stealing a MP from enemies there. So yeah, it's actually pretty useful there for, even for, like, Tiz or Adia, it's a good idea. But at this point, yeah, we're starting to get a little light on resources there. Run away! Well, I would like to rest up here a little bit before progressing onward. But yeah, this dungeon isn't extraordinarily long. But they do have a lot of back and forth, like you see on the bottom there with that path from another screen. So we're going to have to go around here. But is the Baal still asleep around here? 
Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Layer. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!